Good day, Roosevelt families. I'm Dr. Richard K. Ramos of the Roosevelt School District number 66. I serve as the Executive Director of Innovation and Learning. I'm here to share with you the difference between synchronous and asynchronous learning, especially as we are still navigating the online learning mode. As a general reminder, it is impossible for teachers today to replicate exactly what occurred in person learning when students were in the classroom. If we were to try to execute learning this way, we would be setting ourselves up for failure. So what's the difference in synchronous and asynchronous? I wanna be explicit today. So I wanna make sure you're ready. Let's start with synchronous learning. Synchronous learning happens in real time. This means the class meets in a virtual place or platform like Zoom. The meeting happens between students, classmates, and teacher at a specific time during the course of the school day. Asynchronous learning, on the other hand, occurs on the student's personal schedule. In this scenario, students have the ability to access material and lesson expectations online without the teacher's supervision. The time to complete the assignments are flexible, but still within a given time frame. There are advantages to synchronous and asynchronous learning. Starting with synchronous, social interactions take place in real time. It makes communication and sharing easier. In addition, opportunities to ask questions, provide answers, and receive feedback happen immediately. On the other hand, asynchronous learning, students have more flexibility. They can learn and complete assignments at any time. This lends itself to deep processing, completing research, and allows for more time to practice. There are also disadvantages to synchronous and asynchronous learning. During synchronous learning, scheduling a time to be online might not work for everyone, and pacing might not be best either. There are oftentimes technical issues with iPads or internet access. Finally, too much screen time might be unhealthy. On the asynchronous side, disadvantages may be that not enough communication between student and teacher occurs, and too much independent work can be unhealthy as well. This table, is provided to give ideas on when to use both types of learning to support student achievement. Synchronous is important to brainstorm ideas and have discussions together. Also, complex content needs cues, prompts, and questions to help students better understand. Asynchronous is critical to use for texting and emailing to communicate deadlines and other important information. Ensuring students have access to recorded online lectures to watch at their, own point, at their own pace is critical. Finally, independent assignments permit time for reflection, critical thinking, and creating projects outside of the online platform. Thank you for watching our parent support video on synchronous and asynchronous learning. Please email richard.ramos at rsd.k12 dot az dot us if you have any questions like always be bold and have a great day